doesn't look very stable. Oh, oh my good grief. The boat's about to tip over. I nearly went wild when he suggested that we go there. Is that why it's called a wild mooring? It could be. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just Did any of those geese nearly hit the boat? Really? Yeah, yeah. Took evasive action. Whizzed over the top, yeah. Gosh, it was close. I think one of them flew through the cratch. That's tricky because only one side of the cratch is open. Oh, it's still in there. Then. Mm. This is the festival here. Rewind. Headliners, was it Human League? Human League, wasn't it? Lots of traffic. This is a river taxi turning in front of us. I think if we dropped anchor here, we'd really have a good. Um, View well, not a good view, but a good listen to the music tonight. It'd be good, It'd be fab. Bit of relax, don't do it, and all that. Frankie goes to Hollywood. I think they might be on. Oh, it is, yeah, Frankie. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Relax, don't do it when you want to go to it. Relax. That was a good guess, wasn't it? There's some boats here, dropped anchor. That's the main stage there, with the big yellow bit on top. Yeah, it's main stage. And this is Temple Island in front of us. And we've got to stay to the uh, port side of the channel here. Bit of Brian Adams. just see that there's a whole load of uh, teepees, a glamping tents which you can uh, hire out. Just set off from uh, Henley, just gonna go down the river a little bit and find a mooring for the night um, in a lock. Uh, three of the boats in with us. Everybody's got to put their engines off um, from an environmental point of view and if there's any um, canoeists or paddle boarders in the locks it's um, obviously kind for them from a fume perspective. And, uh, it's quite a tranquil place to be. We've got a slight mooring disagreement about to happen. Oh, it's already happened actually. Michael wants to moor there between those two sets of trees. Uh, I'm not happy. So we've just um, come back to this spot for us to try to moor. Clearly, it's a wild mooring, it's absolutely wild. I nearly went wild when he suggested that we go there. Is that why it's called a wild mooring? It could be. We're just doing a, a quick turn and um, about to come back onto it. I can just see now, I'm just gonna be diving around in trees, trying to tie ropes to branches. I just know how it's gonna go. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. What's the captain's view? It'll be fine. This is boy view. Fine. Girl view is it won't be. Yes, it will. Don't worry, you'll be fine. It's all under control. Do we think this is going to go well? I've got my boat hook and I've got the radio um, so we can communicate. I don't think this is going to go well. It might be just a girly intuition, but mm, we're going back in. We're going in. We're gonna go straight underneath all those branches. Arg. I lost. We didn't stay there. No, we so moved we, on. We came, we came here instead. There was only one winner. And it was never gonna be me. However, that looks like a tree. And the bow rope is tied to that tree. Ducky that's got a little deformed beak. Um, really sad. It's not stopping it eating. Oh. 
Now it's that birthday boy. Happy birthday. Hey, 21 again. Yeah, I'm 35 today. You are? <laughs> um, yeah, good. That's all right. I lost at the, uh, on the, where we mowed last night's date. Yeah, I know. I, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, good night. Yep. We're to back to Henley now and see if we can find them away for a few days. So. Yep. Now the festival's finished, hopefully some of the boats have moved on and you're about to be overtaken. So we've just been trying to work out what they'll do because there's a um, GRP boat, trip boat, and then us waiting on the lock landing. Not a bad little view while we wait. Somebody coming to join us. Morning. Hello. Oh no, a bit nervous. He's off again. We're in a busy lock. There's four boats in the lock. Three at the back, including us. And then behind me, it's a trip boat. Rope's on. Hold it steady. Don't know how rough it's going to be. Apparently there's another boat coming in. <laughs> Don't know where he's going to put this one. Ah yes, it's a very small one. Can you just see? It's coming in. This is where we need to hold ourselves nice and steady. We are steel. Oh, we've actually got a Dutch steel cruiser next to us. I didn't realise. Thought it was GRP. It's not. It's Dutch steel. So that's all right. Oh no. Okay. Yep. Michael's just asked me not to let the boat come backwards, just because they're coming in behind us just see down there they're just trying to get the ropes on it's very high considering the smallness of the boat oh doesn't look very stable oh looks like he's about to fall oh I hope he doesn't that's not looking great hmm oh dear Oh my good grief, the boat's about to tip over. Oh bless. Hang on, I'll give you a hand. Just... Anyway, they've got two ropes on now. <laughs> He's just asked me to put a second turn on the rope because apparently it fills from the side. So the boat could get pushed away from the side. It's bubbling here, which means it's filling from the side. I'm not sure if I had me uh, porridge this morning. Yep, that's a side fill. You can see we're actually, I pan down the length of the boat, we're actually being pushed away from the side. The lock keeper's just making certain the little boat that came in behind us is all right. Yeah, I wouldn't like to uh, let go of this boat. We'd be on the other side of the lock, I think, and we'd be uh, crashing into other boats. You'll see how close we are to the uh, party boat. Yeah, and interestingly, they're actually being pushed in our direction as well. Hopefully it'll calm down as I, as we get higher in the lock. But yeah, they're being pushed out as well. Got a ducky in the lock with us as well. You stay there, mate. Huh? Looks like he's about to fly up and get me. That's the back of the trip boat. Um, I'm actually not looking forward to when they start their engine. Mind you, it will push us onto the side, so I think that'll be okay. Gates opening, which means He's about to start his engines. I fear for the little duck, actually. You stay there, mate. On your marks. Go! Our engines have just started. There we go. Get ready. Hold on tight. Hopefully, I'll go out really slowly. See if you... No, that doesn't look slowly. I'm holding on.
Michael just helping another boater. Be helping out. Helping out, yes. That's very kind of you. Of course, yes. The difference from the um, the GRP boat to pull it. A really a, light. Yeah, they've got a stern thruster and a bow thruster. But once I got hold of the rope and just pulled it, it just, it came, just came in. in yeah. Did it? Unlike the narrow boats, so. though. Yeah, it's good. You don't need any muscle to um, have one of those. Then that's what you need. What a GRP boat yeah, or muscles? You, well, both actually. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm relaxing in the shade with a cup of tea. It's very English, but it's very nice. It's um, quite a good vantage spot here. We're uh, watching all the boats coming and going. We've also decided that we're going to. Um, we're going to turn the boat round so we can max out on the solar panels um, because at the moment they're in the shade because of this massive willow tree. We're just going for a walk into Henley and... It's raining. Oh Not dear. <laughs> what beautiful clean mushrooms. <laughs> is, that some, is that something I can say? Absolutely, yeah. Well, absolutely. Forage mushrooms are always covered in pine needles and dirt. And they are, bites. yeah, absolutely. But um, we grow these at home. Tell me about your mushrooms. Well, uh, we, we were just talking about the lion's mane powder. So lion's mane is like a, uh, a white puff ball with long hair, long curly hair. And it's used medicinally. It has... Um, anti-anxiety and antidepressant qualities to it. Oh really? So it has nerve growth factor in it, so it helps to grow neurons. Right. And a lot of people who have had sort of long COVID or, or have had nerve damage from COVID have been using it oh, okay. to try and repair the nerves. Like some people have ended up using wheelchairs from um, Oh really from interesting. The, the, the viral damage. Right. Um, so apart from that we have our king oysters which have a sort of very nutty flavour, very firm texture. Yep. But without being chewy. Yep. And, and great with butter and garlic. Um, we have the shimeji, which are traditionally used in sort of miso soups, um, but I love them on a pasta because you get loads of whole mushrooms in there and they look beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The shiitake, which are the most cultivated mushroom in the world, which uh, is used in loads of oriental dishes. Yeah. Good for meaty mushroom. Brilliant. Oh, thank you very much. It's good to meet you. I love a market and this is a very nice market. They've even got honey. Look, honey. Let's see if they've got any uh, honeycomb. Our favourite. Little Prezi for my husband because he loves. We both love honeycomb. Lovely, thank you. Can I have uh, three of the pastel donata, please? Yes, please. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say that I feel That our love is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal
wanna take you there Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. It's completely free. Also give us a thumbs up. Both of these help us with the channel. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.